Hello. Hi. Hey guys, good morning, good evening. I can. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. This is Fabrizio Moggio from Team. Hey, Fabrizio, how are you? I'm fine. You? Fantastic. Great. So let's wait for one more minute and then we can get started. I see that people are still coming up. And also KubeCon is happening. So a lot of people have traveled to KubeCon. So I don't know how many, uh, how many people will show up today. Kurt, do you want to bring up the slides? Hello, everyone. Hello. Ms. Bala. All right, I think we can get started, uh, Kurt. All right. I trust everyone can see the slides okay? Yeah, we can see it. Uh, if you can put it in a full screen mode, that would be helpful. Let me see if I can get this. Oh. oh, I can't do that and share this. And oh, let me see. Yeah, if I can I one second, I think I can make that work. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, better. Okay, and I've shared the Etherpad and, uh, in case anyone wants to participate there. Okay, so let's move on here. Just a reminder, the uh, uh, All Meanings of Links Foundation are covered by the antitrust policy. If you have any questions on that policy, let me know uh, or consult your legal counsel. Meaning information, Etherpad. Uh, this is, uh, I've actually just posted that to the as well. So if you wanna jump in there and help me take minutes, I'd sure appreciate it. Um, the agenda for today, I've discussed that. Um, um, I think somebody has to mute it, like there's a lot of background noise. Oh, okay. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, there Thank we go. You. I'll cover the uh, updates of the transition, uh, service transition. Uh, Ken, and you'll talk about events. And then we'll have SIG status, SIG status updates. And then I'm sure we'll have time for question and answer today. And um, this is the TSC members. Um, I'm not going to take roll call today, and we're going to get to that in just a moment. Um, and that is why um, Ken and I discussed, and that um, if there's no objections from anyone, um, what we had discussed is that the meeting minutes will be distributed. And if you uh, need any corrections made, uh, just just let me know. I'll be happy to make those changes. Uh, but that that we no longer will go through the process of doing a, a formal approval in the TSC meetings. Are there any objections with this proposal? Yeah, so I think let me explain this a little bit uh, more as well. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, so in terms of uh, any anything that uh, really need to be voted by TSC, and uh, we, would, uh, we would make sure that uh, there is a quorum, 
and uh, people have to really vote for it and those will be recorded into the meeting minutes and stuff but if it's a general discussion like uh, for example updates and stuff like that uh, those are no need to be explicitly approved and this is a common practice that uh, followed in other linux foundation forums as well and uh, that is why we are recommending because sometimes we may not have a forum and stuff and uh, and given that uh, this is a recorded call it's an open call so we don't need to explicitly approve the meeting minutes of a general discussion so this is why we are recommending this uh, that uh, primarily the meeting notes does need to be approved but if there are any specific items that need to be approved then that would be explicitly called in the in the TSC meeting so that people have an opportunity to discuss and then review and approve. Because it takes a one step, uh, you know, like a, you know, too much process. Uh, so we're trying to reduce the process here uh, for, um, for a better use of the time on the TSC call. Any, any objection? All right, I think there's no objection. I think uh, let's proceed forward. Okay, that's approved. Uh, yeah, so I did distribute the, the meeting minutes from the prior two. Uh, we aren't going to approve those, but please let me know if you have any, if you need any changes. Um, and I, <clears throat> I did document the process on how to, it seemed to be a lot of questions about uh, how to join the mail list and how to use the mail list. And um, actually, I'm going to touch on that. Uh, here's that discussion. Uh, let me move this bar out of the way. Second. Okay. Um, yeah, so basically all the groups.io email lists are uh, the name of the list plus subscribe to subscribe to it. It's super easy. All you do, ha all you have to do is just send email to that address. Um, the content of the email, the subject, none of that matters. Um, once you've sent uh, email to that list, uh, uh, groups.io will reply with directions on how to, you know, next steps for, for verifying your email address and so on. This is a list of all of the email that all the public email lists that we have for the project. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's literally just the name of the, of the, uh, you know, nephew TSC, for instance, uh, at lists. And if you want to subscribe, it's just nephew TSC plus subscribe. Um, and then once you have subscribed, you can go to the, the URL lists.nephio.org, um, which is, yeah, which is just the domain for the mail list. And you can log in there. The way you do that is since you haven't created an account, you ask for a link to be sent to you. Uh, and then you can actually uh, use that link. It'll take you back to lists.nephio.org. And you can edit your account and add picture or uh, add a change the delivery options for your email and, and things like that and set it up like you would like it. Any questions about that? All right. No questions, Kurt, but I did get the meeting minutes this time. So thank you for fixing that for me. I appreciate it. Great. Sure. Yeah, no, that's wonderful. It's good to hear. And, and please let me know if, if anyone else in your team or whatever has problem uh, participating. I'll be happy to to debug it. Um, I was thinking that this would be something good to put on a website, maybe the wiki, something like that, so that this information is available to everyone, um, you know, without having to subscribe first. <laughs> All right. Infrastructure status. Uh, yeah, so basically everything is wrapping up here. Um, yeah, I have added the SIG chairs as list moderators. Uh, they should have the ability to go create calendars. Um, so for any of the SIG, you know, if you want to make your SIG meetings, um, uh, you know, publicly viewable so that people can can go look at that. Uh, of course, we do have the wiki, so so that's usable as well. I mean, that's a, a way of communicating that as well. So. But that is an option if you, if you want to set up file repositories or calendars for your, for any uh, special interest groups, uh, feel free to do so. Just let me know if, if somebody needs to be added as a moderator. And okay, Candon, do you want to discuss this? 
podcast. Um, so a couple of update on the events and uh, QCon, we have a presentation uh, by John and Amar and uh, they, they are giving a presentation. We also arranged a Nephew flyer and uh, thanks to the Linux Foundation team last minute, we put together the flyers and they are being distributed at the booth. So if you are in QCon, you can connect with the John and Amar and uh, and that's uh, that's what it's about, QCon. And on the ONE summit, I think last time we discussed the agenda. So the agenda has not changed and uh, we are proceeding with the agenda. Then we also uh, received already about a 50 people registered for this event. And uh, I think I, uh, last, uh, last week I mentioned about that the room was limited about 50 people, but I already flagged the Linux Foundation team about that. And uh, we have a possibility of increasing the room to about 90 people. I am pretty sure that this is going to overflow even that. So maybe another negotiation may need it. So, but right now I think, you know, uh, the, the important thing is that if you have not registered for it, please uh, go ahead and register, uh, register it uh, because we want to give importance to our community members and make sure that they are all part of it. We welcome everybody to join from uh, uh, you know, to this this particular um, uh, summit, but uh, but we also want to be mindful of you know like our community members and make sure that uh, you registered early on so that we know for sure uh, that we can accommodate you. But again, uh, the room sizing is actually sort of limiting us unless we would have even 300 people there, right? So so this is a facility problem. So please go ahead and register it if you have not done it already. And I think last uh, last call, I think we also mentioned about uh, you can, uh, if you are a member of Linux Foundation, not the NEPIO, uh, if you're a member of Linux Foundation, you also get like a 20 percentage discount on the main conference, which is needed to attend this particular uh, sub event. So please, uh, please actually register it. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next slide. And I also want to mention uh, this, like we made this clear on the last call and I think we agreed uh, that uh, the SIG chair and vice chair would uh, create a bunch of slides uh, to provide an update and uh, trigger the discussion on the, on the agenda item that we have. So please uh, be prepared and if possible, share the slide you know in the wiki page uh, on the on the specifically on the agenda slide you can actually go and edit it and add the slides there so that uh, we uh, we can have a, a good good level of discussion uh, uh, in, in the summit the other thing i want to point out is that that particular page is linked to the main conference page meaning that the wiki page is actually uh, linked to the main conference page so anything that you change please be mindful uh, because I think everybody should have a right access and when you change it like a please mindful of what you're putting in because the, the larger audience that are coming into the main conference page, uh, they can actually go, you know, go by clicking the link of the wiki page and they can see our wiki page. So please be mindful of what you're putting in, but I would appreciate if you could actually upload the slides, right. Uh, but again, here is a quick summary. Um, you know, the event is happening on November uh, 16th and uh, the summit, the ONE summit is 15 and 16. So our event is on 16th and we will start at exactly at uh, 11 o'clock after the keynote is done. Uh, so please bring your laptop. Uh, if you want to experience the, the, the demo and the workshop that uh, SIG Group 2 would help us to sort of showcase, uh, please bring your, uh, bring your uh, you know, laptop. And uh, primarily, you know, like make sure that it is actually charged and there will be some charging station on the back of the room. Uh, but the room doesn't have a facility to give you like, uh, you know, so many power ports on the desk itself. So please be charged uh, when you bring your laptop or you have to charge it on the back side of the room. OK, and uh, I think that's primarily it. And if you do have any issues with respect to registration, uh, you can actually reach out to Sunny and the email address is here. So she can help you with respect to the registration. And we are also working on like getting some, uh, you know, the digital banner uh, for the website and uh, logos for social medias and all the stuff we are working on getting it so that the people, uh, people are aware of it. And I think, uh, uh, so I don't know, Sunny is on the call, Kurt. 
I think she is not on the call, like, uh, but I think Kurt can distribute uh, uh, some memes by this uh, social media logos. Like if you want to post it on your social media, that would be really great. Uh, I would really appreciate, you know, like all the TSC member join in person. But if you can't join in person, uh, I would say like not only TSC member, the whole community, please join. And in case you cannot join in person, uh, we have arranged a way for uh, uh, a Zoom call that uh, that can we can collaborate across the Zoom call as well. But I think the effectiveness of uh, like having a discussion locally plus you know like in the Zoom call, we will try our best. But uh, but again, the constraints are going to be around how many mics are there and all this stuff, right? So, and we are also looking for blogs. Uh, like a Google team with a few other people published, you know, like a initial set of blocks on the Netio website. And uh, we encourage people to write blogs and a TSC member, anybody in the community, if you want to write a blog about an FEO, but again, this cannot be a marketing about your company. Uh, it has to be something related to Netio, what's your contribution or something like a technology wise that you want to highlight. And we have a couple of division of things like a, a general structure or a technology that you want to talk around in FEO. Uh, you can author a blog and uh, please let me and Kurt know. Then uh, we can get you uh, through the Linux Foundation approval process so that that blog can be published in our NFEO org website. So I do encourage that uh, people to publish blog like at least two, three blogs per month so that uh, we can show progress from uh, external people coming into the website. They can see like a new content all the time because right now we have not published a blog for last two, three months, I would say. So I would encourage everybody to come forward and publish your blog. And uh, we can uh, sort of like link this actually into the social media as well. And uh, for example, Linux Foundation, uh, you know, LinkedIn post and stuff. So this can give you and also give uh, uh, Nephew sort of like a progress map in the social media. Uh, let me pause here and see if there are any questions on any of this item. And uh, specifically on the TSE part, I think I just want to make sure that uh, similarly what SIG group would create it, uh, you know, we would have a discussion specifically on TSE, uh, especially the quality assurance of the releases. And I think we want to put together some additional documentation. So we had some material uh, in the community document that we put together that had like a process that is defined to uh, qualify a release, but we want to go like a little bit more about it. And is there any other topic that you are willing to bring it up and have a discussion in the in the face to face meeting? Uh, please actually flag uh, flag me into the topic so that uh, we can actually put that into the discussion during the during the summit. Okay, so I think that's a bigger picture. And I think uh, uh, with that, uh, anybody has any question on any of this item? Yeah, question. This is Hunor speaking. So uh, about 15th of November. So is there anything which is NEFIO related? If I remember, I saw that there will be a demo also on 15th of November about uh, NEFIO. Is that correct? Or Yeah, that is right. Is actually, that is for sort of a main conference uh, event, uh, Hunor. It is not really a, a co-hosted separate event. And uh, that is done like entirely, uh, entirely within the ONE summit. So John uh, and team is actually providing a talk and uh, basically, you know, like providing a small, simple demo as well, but it would not be comprehensive like the way we would have a workshop on the second day, which is on the November 16. So the November 16 event is like a completely focused on NEFIO, meaning that there would be a main event happening parallelly, but uh, this NEFIO event on the, the dedicated room is all about NEFIO. Okay, so thank you. And the other one is maybe we can just make a quick uh, kind of voting that how many people will come personally, maybe can raise the hand in the chat or there is re this reaction and you can raise your hand. I, I am planning to go by the way, so. Yes, I think that's a good suggestion. I think you can raise your hand as well. And as, as I pointed out, like the 50 people are already registered. And, uh, and I think I'm pretty sure that more people are so especially on the people on here i think if you can raise your hand like if you're personally coming in that uh, that would be really great and we are missing a lot of people today because of the q plan i know that a lot of people could not join today okay um any any other question or anything that anybody want to bring it up
You look forward to seeing you in Seattle. Yeah, go uh, ahead. I just commented. Yeah. So I'm not sure what you said, Tina. I think you broke up. Uh... No, I said that look forward to seeing you all in Seattle. Yep, fantastic. All right. So I really encourage everybody to join in person. I think this is good to sort of like socialize it towards uh, you know preparing ourselves into the release one. And I think the the SIG groups and I think we showed the demo last week and we are all making a great progress. So I think we should, uh, you know, this face-to-face -face meeting can help uh, more on that. So with that, I think let's uh, let's uh, sync up on the other topics. Let's go to the next slide. Oh, so good, All right. So I think the SIG group updates. Um, so let's start with uh, Netark, uh, Sana, and uh, Kaushik. Can you please provide an update? Hey, Sana, you want me to? Uh, by the way, I'm masquerading as Sana, given some logistical issues. So you might see both of us as Sana. Uh, but I, I, I'll take a stab at it. And Sana, please add. This is Kaushik, vice chair uh, for NetArc. As of last meeting, we have uh, aligned high level in terms of product scope and uh, the critical user journeys for Nephew first release. So that's that's a great progress. Uh, thank you, community, for uh, you know uh, giving your valuable inputs. We have incorporated uh, all of the inputs, and uh, I'll make sure that gets published with the entire PSC and all of the SIG communities. The next step is uh, building upon the demo that uh, was presented in the last PSC by Stephen from Google. We are now starting to put a straw man design architecture mapping to the product scope and user stories that I just talked about. And I'm hopeful we will be able to bring the strawman design to the community early next week. Uh, and then, of course, we encourage the community to then give your design inputs and so forth. But there is great progress on structuring uh, and scoping for Nephew first release. Uh, and I, I hope to you know uh, work with all of you to make good progress. Anything else, Sana, that you wanted to add? I think Sana probably have dropped in, I guess. So I don't see her anymore on the call. Uh, okay. Any any questions? Any other inputs from anyone? Great. Maybe SIG automation. Is John or Tal on? So I think John is on KubeCon, so Tal is also not here. Uh, is anybody Tal, Tal else? Is, uh, Tal is a bit under weather, so. Oh, I see, sorry about that. And uh, is anybody from SIG Automation can talk about talk about updates happened on the last week? Hi, this is Antu Vo. I can speak a little bit. We sure, had, please. Okay. We had a meeting, uh, two meetings. Um, one is the regular six automation meeting on Wednesday, where we discussed the um, three things. First, there was a presentation by um, Alok Gupta and Dimitrios, I forgot his last name, sorry, on Eno, external network operator project. Uh, that was last Wednesday, yeah, yesterday. And uh, also Stephen Wong was supposed to present his demo, the one that he had presented here, but we ran out of time. And we also touched briefly on the workshop and the demo for November 16th. In addition to the regular Wednesday meeting every week now, instead of bi-weekly, we also started a, uh, Slack channel for the workshop and the demo. And we have uh, for the short term, a 9 a.m. Pacific time, Friday morning meeting to discuss the documentation, the design, the infrastructure we need to do the demo and the workshop and the scope of the demo and the workshop. 
and we had two meetings, one meeting so far last week. Uh, out of all of these efforts, we have created a document. Um, trying to find a link. Uh, basically talking about the components, the demo scope, the workshop infrastructure for originally 50 user, but now probably will go up, we'll have to go up to 90 user. And we're very conscious that there's about two and a half weeks left. So every effort is focusing on the demo and the workshop and that's it. Thank you, I appreciate the, appreciate the update. Any, anybody, any question or anything else you want to add? Yeah, I mean, just to add to, uh, just to add to that, uh, like she said, we are uh, creating common document. I think John shared with that, John started that, he's basically talking about the scope of the demo, what's there, what's not there, and what's the stretch goal. And even within that, we are coming out with the two things. One is the infrastructure aspects of the demo that is needed. And the second one is the, the narrative, what should be the narrative of the workshop, what should be the flow? Uh, what what are the different kinds of audiences we should expect, and uh, how we should proceed? So we have documented that, uh, and the review is under prog uh, uh, progress. So I think probably we want to make further progress uh, this Friday when everybody's uh, becomes more available. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate the update. All right, so let's move to the SIG release. I think Tina, can you provide update on the SIG release? Yeah, so Steven is not here? I don't see Steven on the call. Um, okay, yeah, I just got back from uh, KubiCon yesterday night. I, I, I guess maybe Steven was there, but John was there. Um, so uh, we are now uh, doing some kind of uh, the TPM work to help uh, uh, prepare the presentation uh, for the one semi collocated event for uh, nephew. And we're gonna lay out and, and prepare for the deep discussion of uh, what and when and how uh, we are gonna uh, deliver the release one for nephew. So the work is still in progress. Uh, we got the, the volunteers to uh, write up uh, the first draft. This is uh, how uh, we are working on and we'll keep you updated maybe next next meeting okay yeah but uh, is kurt here we probably need some help from kurt yeah kurt is here go ahead oh okay yeah, sure. hey hi kurt so sure. um, steven said uh, he sent you some emails about uh how uh the next foundation can help us on this release one for the uh for the programming and uh, if you can check your email uh, that would be great okay i'm not sure i re received that but I, I will check uh yeah great uh and uh, n has the already sent out a link in the chat box uh, thank you all right any any other question to tina Hey, not a question, Kaushik here, but it'll be important, uh, especially now that various SIG um, forums are converging on whatever nephew V1 uh, product scope, technology, automation, and release framework that we all work especially closely together. And this is more uh, towards the, the chairs and vice chairs who can represent these communities to, to put together a more holistic framework of how do you package the architecture and then bring together the automation and the release framework to then, you know, provide a more comprehensive a timeline of sorts. Right? I think the community is looking forward to a more cohesive approach. And I request and encourage the, uh, the chairs of all the three six to work closely together, especially ideally in the next couple of weeks before the one summit. Yeah, uh, thank you for uh, asking. And, uh, so we we do have the the weekly meeting and uh, meanwhile before the the bi-weekly meeting uh, feel free to use the stack channel 
or email so we can uh, review what we already have and uh, we welcome your input there. Perfect. Hey, Tina, we had to cancel this week's uh, edition. I will set up a one-off with all the chairs next week uh, mm -hmm. so that we can make quick progress before the summit in mid-November. Thank you. Yeah, that would be great, but uh, just try to avoid the Halloween party day. <laughs> For sure. No, Thank I'm you. kidding. No worries. Yeah. All right. So I think Pretty good, uh, appreciate it. And I think that is a good point, uh, Kaushik. And I think we should uh, sort of organize uh, a, a sync up on the topic you said. And I think we should also deep dive during the face-to-face -face meeting on the specific item that you brought in. Um, so definitely that's a good uh, good seg area that we should uh, all have a good discussion to so that everybody is on common page, how the structure comes along, not only for release one, but also going forward. All right, so any anybody has any other question, concerns, or anything that you want to bring it up? Because this was our last slide. All right, so thank you very much, and uh, we will look after to see you guys on the next TSE call. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.